Hello, hello, hello everyone, Zojin here with another Let's Talk About Things comic book stuff again, hell yeah. So yeah, I just watched the trailer for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Hell yeah! Super psyched about that. Hell yeah, so basically Sony has announced, you know, in addition to the live action movies, they're making animated movies, but they haven't revealed any of the titles yet, but now they revealed the title with the freaking trailer. It's, yeah, Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, Marvel has has this ma ma massive epic Spider-Man comic book event, Spider-Verse, which I never read, unfortunately, but I did see it partially adapted in the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, and yeah, it was great. It had all sorts of characters, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just reading from Wikipedia, but yeah. It had Miles Morales, yeah. Miles Morales, the ultimate Spider-Man, the real ultimate Spider-Man. Not the, yeah, not to be confused with the cartoon ultimate Spider-Man. He's the ultimate Spider-Man in the comic books. And there's also, um, what? There's, yeah, there, there's Spider-Girl, but there wasn't Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen probably later on oh yeah because they had a second they had two story arcs for spider-verse the second one was when spider-gwen shows up the first the first one there's spider-man 299 he's in it from the future there's spider-girl it's a gender inverse version so it's it's i forgot it was uh it was obviously it wasn't peter parker but you know a girl version of something parker yeah, there's Spider there was Spider Man Noir, Spider Ham, and Universe where all the superheroes are animals, where everyone's animals. There's Spider Knight, a medieval Spider Man. Uh Miles Morales, yeah, that's Ultimate Spider Man. The comic book Ultimate Spider Man. Yeah. And they did show up in the universe and help the Peter Parker Spider Man for a while. And then they did it again and that's when they had um let's see let's see who it says oh there's blood spider spider-man where where he's hunting vampires i'm not sure if he was a spider he, he was a vampire himself or not web beard what the hell is that where he's a pirate and also similar to spider-man where he's a animal web slinger where he's from the wild wild west hell yeah he's an outlaw cool and there's Spider Gwen, which is the Gwen Stacy as Spider Woman or Spider Man or Sp yeah Spider Gwen. And then there's a Wolf Spider. What? And there's a Wolf Spider who goes around stealing Spider Man's powers, the alternate universe Spider Man's. But yeah, I think I kind of rambled along over there. But yeah, so the actual movie. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a Sony movie. Yeah, let's see. Let's go back to the actual article. Okay, so Let's see it doesn't it doesn't really say Oh, yeah, it does briefly mention the new Marvel comic book. I mean not Marvel comic book the new Marvel spider-man cartoon It does have it does have Spider-man and the ultimate spider-man miles Morales It's Gwen Stacy in it, but she hasn't become uh, Gw Spider Gwen in it yet? And also, wait, wait, what the hell? Sp Spider Gwen, but she's gonna be in that that new Marvel <laughs> Secret Warriors, Marvel Rising Secret Warriors. So I guess it's two different Gwen Stacy's, you know? Cause yo, interesting, interesting. What? <laughs> okay, interesting. They both gonna have their own version of spider gwen but the marvel version the marvel studios version the disney version is gonna be she's gonna be called ghost spider um it doesn't it doesn't save wait let's see it says okay it's gonna be putting the focus on miles morales um and it doesn't say anything else does it but oh, we don't know if we're gonna have gwen stacy in it probably maybe Well, in this comic book universe, yeah, it does. But okay, that's cool. That's super duper awesome. Yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, be sure to go to YouTube and check out the, the Sony. Oh wait, you are on YouTube right now. Be sure to check out the the trailer for that. But super super hyped. Um, 
I, I like the animated stuff better, Our animated cartoons, animated movies a lot better than the comic book, live action, TV shows and movies because, you know, the cartoons they actually use the powers, you know, they actually wear the freaking costumes, you know, they're not afraid to have like 50,000 characters in it because, you know, voice actors, I guess, I guess that's not a really good thing, but voice actors are kind of like replaceable some in some cases where you could just have, if you're they're really talented, you could have one voice actor voice like 10 different characters you know a lot of cartoons do that you know i mean yeah i mean maybe it, it might be recognizable but the tech yeah the talented characters they could be voicing 10 different characters and you wouldn't even know that yeah yeah definitely and especially it's gonna be spider verse who knows how many spider man's different version of spider man and spider woman and etc gonna be in it so hell yeah that it if it was live action, there's no way they could do that. Because there's no way they're going to cast like 10 different Spider-Mans, you know, right? <laughs> but animated, they could cast 10 different Spider-Mans and probably have them all voiced by the same voice actor. Like, right. I mean, yeah. If you, like, half of them are like Peter Parker, right? You could have, you, have, you can have most of, most of them share the same voice actor. Just have, have them, like, speak in different accents, I guess, you know? Depending on the time period or the setting, etc. Yeah, but in the cartoons, they did have different voice actors. I think I remember Peter Petrelli is the Spider-Man Noir, yeah, in the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon. Yeah, so definitely super awesome. And honestly, I think Sony, I mean Marvel Studios and Sony worked together for Spider-Man: Homecoming, and I think they did a great job on it. And, you know, like, a lot of people seem to think, like, oh, the Sam Raimi ones is the best. Like, I don't know. I don't... I mean, they're definitely good at the time. But now, after watching them, like, all the newer ones, they kind of suck. I wouldn't say suck, but they're not as good, you know? Like, there's way too much emphasis, uh, focus on Green Goblin, Norman Osborn. Like, come on. And, like, Venom, Eddie Brock was, like, a scrawny little dude. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not really a big tr problem. But, yeah. I mean, definitely, he, he could have been a good Venom, but they freaking killed him in the end. That's kind of lame. <clears throat> yeah. Actually, I, I was actually psyched to see Topher Grace as Venom, because I liked him from that 70s show. I mean, it's not so much that he was bad at Venom, it's just that the movies treated the villains like garbage, and just freaking killed him right away, and like they kind of all sucked. Did Sandman die? I mean, if I didn't mention it, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers for all things Marvel and Spider-Man. Like, all the villains freaking die at the end of the movie. It's kind of lame. No, I think Sandman lived. But Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, he died. I think Harry Osborn, he lived when he became the Green Goblin. And then Dr. Octavius, he died. Yeah, all the villains died. That's, I mean, that's typical, I guess. But yeah, so hopefully... Um, I wonder, yeah, I've never actually read the Spider-Verse comic books, but I'm very curious to see what it's going to be all about. The adapted movie is probably not going to be 100% accurate. None of these movies are. Like, I always feel like they're only like 10%, 5 to, 5 to 10% accurate, but the animated ones are pretty freaking close, like 90% accurate, so I have high hopes for this animated movie. Hell yeah. And you know, like, a lot of people have been clamoring for a black Spider-Man Minority Spider-Man diversity. Hell yeah! I mean, whole Spider-Man Homecoming had a, a whole slew of characters turned from white into different ethnic, diverse backgrounds. So definitely awesome. But also then uh, there's all those butthurt triggered neo-Nazi snowflakes who were like, "Oh my God, we're all supposed to be white. What is going on here?" And then when people say like, "Oh, there's whitewashing in Hollywood," they're like, "Oh, that's not that's not true. Racism is dead long ago, it's a bazillion years ago. Like, there's no more racism, discrimination. So, which one is it? <laughs> when you change the actors, I mean, when you change the characters' race from non-white to white, that's perfectly okay. But when you change it from white to non-white, that's like fucking destroying the character. Which one is it? You racist piece of garbage. <laughs> anyway." Yeah. Yeah. So naturally, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So Spider Verse. Oh yeah. Did I say the release date is gonna be coming out? Chris. Christmas. I was about to say Chris. 
Christmas, I mean Christmas, December 2018, so almost exactly a year from now. Wait, did it say Christmas? But yeah, I, I, I think, yes, I think it says Christmas, but whatever. It's basically next year, and about one year it's going to come out. It's going to be awesome, so it should, yeah, it's definitely unrelated to the Marvel Cinematic Universe or any of the current cartoons or anything else. I doubt it'll tie in with the Marvel Rising, Marvel Rise. Yeah, <clears throat> so definitely super awesome. Yeah, I think <laughs> that about covers it. So gonna be so many freaking different Spider Mans, and oh yeah, before the Spider Verse thing, the '90s Spider Man cartoon also had a thing where they had all like different reality Spider Man. One of them is like Iron Man. He's like an Iron Spider Man. Another one where he has like eight legs, eight arms. And then there's one where he's just an actor playing a Spider-Man, no powers at all. And it's like lots of cool stuff. Always great to see this kind of multiverse kind of thing. <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully everyone's enjoying this video, enjoyed this series. Be sure to let me know down below. What do you think? Did you watch the trailer? Do you think it's going to be awesome? Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, rate the video. As always, thank you for Oh my god, bye bye. I keep on repeating myself. Bye bye.